Welcome back to another special edition of Pokemon Go News. Now a lot has been going on. I have not talked about the latest update yet, but we'll go over it. What just happened is John Hankey spoke with somebody in Taiwan about Pokemon Go. And it's about Gen 3. John Hankey confirmed that the next update is Gen 3 and that it's coming soon. So right now, what is soon? Well, soon, I would assume, from my speculations, is within a couple months max. We could be seeing it right after the Halloween event, which is possible. We could be seeing it in just a couple weeks. Who knows? Maybe it's going to be during the Halloween event. Maybe it's going to be after the Halloween event. Maybe we'll get it for Christmas. But soon means in the very near future, not the distant. So we have Gen 3 to look forward to, and it is the next big major update coming to Pokemon Go. Now another thing he has confirmed is that the next update in 2018 is going to be a major battle update. We've been needing this for a very long time. We still don't have PvP. I don't think PvP is coming. I think we're going to get stat buffs, stat changes, stat effects, uh, like poison, tag raised, stuff like that. Stat buffs, and then stat nerfs, so lowering attack, lowering defense. Also, again, poison, sleep, paralysis. I think we're gonna get these implemented into the battling system, which is kind of stale right now. It's just tap and swipe, do as much damage as you possibly can. No actual strategy, no strategy. So that's exciting, but we don't know the timetable for 2018, but we can see the timetable for Gen 3, which would be pretty much the end of this year. We are due for a major update. We still haven't gotten the third quarter one, and it looks like this is going to bleed into the fourth quarter. So that's okay. As long as we get Gen 3, it won't fix the game, but it'll make the game really fun. A lot of hunting, going out, trying to catch really good Gen 3 Pokemon, getting ready for PvP and the revamped battling system. That's the thing. I know this game's stale, and I know we don't have PvP, but the fact that you can get out there and catch really good Pokemon, train them up with the CP using Stardust, and just prepare yourself for PvP. Even though it's a long ways away, prepare yourself for it. That way you can whoop all your friends and strangers when PvP comes out. Okay, so that's it with today's actual news that dropped today with John Hankey talking in Taiwan. Now I want to go over the update. And it kind of goes hand in hand with Gen 3 coming out because Gen 3 needs to roll out smoothly. And with the update we found that Curveball has been fixed. Curveball registers no matter what. Um, in actual raids, whenever you went to items to heal up a Pokemon because you forgot to and you go back, your Pokemon reset. Your Pokemon no longer reset after you use items, so that's very nice, a very good quality of life update. And also, displaying the right amount of trainers in a raid lobby now, that's nice too. So a pretty good uh, bug fix update. And then other major performances and bug fixes as well that we're not sure of but it seems prevalent. The game runs very smooth still, so I like that. And also in the APK, more Gen 3 news. Deoxys and his forms have been found in the APK, and Cast Form and his forms have been found in the APK. Now, I don't know if you guys have been keeping up on all the updates in the past months, but back in February, I believe, I did a video going over that Niantic showed wind and like sunset in like weather effects in Pokemon Go. They've been working on this for months and with cast form you're gonna need weather effects in Pokemon Go. And one thing that Niantic did want to do is use weather to associate with Pokemon spawns. If it's really hot like 90 degrees or higher, uh, excuse me, it's going to spawn fire types more. And the reason how they can do this is basically link GPS and where you live along with your weather. Like, look at your phone, AccuWeather. A lot of people have AccuWeather. Or just the National Weather Service. It can display what the temperature and what's going on where you're located. So they could implement that into the game to where it affects Pokemon spawns. And Niantic is wanting to do this. It has been confirmed. They have talked about it. But pretty exciting stuff. Gen 3 is, hypothetically speaking, around the corner. It's coming. John Hankey, the man, has confirmed it. It is coming soon. It is the next big update. Battling fixes, 
are coming in 2018. I would assume early, probably around spring. If you want to speculate, I would shoot for that. And APK has found even more Gen 3 news in it just a few days ago. But that's it with Fit City. Make sure you subscribe if you guys haven't done so already. I supply all the latest updates, tips, tricks, speculations, Air Tang vlogs, and Air Tang live streams. Well, there you guys have it. We've been waiting for confirmation and Gen 3 is coming. It's almost here. Um, let me know down in the comments what you guys are most excited about and the articles for everything I talked about will be in the description. I'm signing off and I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon Go video.